Welcome to Woody's Round Up. This episode, we are going to talk about resort hopping. And we welcome you guys. We thank you so much for joining us. We talk all things do's, don'ts, Disney, dreaming. We feel like we're Imagineers. However, we are not. But we wish we were. Um, how you doing, Woody? There's a snake in my boot, so... <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, he's full of it. He is full of them. Um, it is Woody. My name is yeah. Yeah, we, it is Woody. W O D Y. We love you. So we're going to talk today about resort hopping, something that probably others may or may not call it. I don't know. Is that a, is it a thing? What? If it is, I don't know. We didn't I, we didn't maybe trademark the term, but we just called it that. So good. Yeah. So let me tell you how I found out about resort hopping, and then I will tell you how I roped Woody into it. No pun intended. Um, so I had gone, I was an, a teacher for many years, high school teacher, and I went with um, a group of kids. We brought about, I think it was like 75 high school seniors to Disney, and there was about five of us as far as chaperones that went down. And one of the ladies on the trip, one of the other chaperones said, listen, we'll drop the kids off at the park and they will all be safe. And then we're going to head over to the Polynesian and sit by the pool. And in this moment, I went, what? You can just go to other resorts? And so it started thinking, me thinking, Woody and I are going down uh, this fall. So that was in the spring. So then the next fall, we went on our honeymoon and we had a little more extra time than we had planned. And it was one of these things where we either stay in our room or we go to other rooms and not necessarily that, but more resorts. And so let's talk about that. Let's talk about resort hopping. Let's let's discuss it. And then let's just talk about why we love doing it. Yeah. So our first day, we... Since we've gone so many times, we bought less park tickets this year and we, we got the park hopper because we wanted to kind of sandwich everything in, you know, to the few days and just kind of bounce around. So the whole first day we didn't have a park ticket and that's all we did. And and <laughs> we we woke up and at first this year we stayed at Coronado, mm-hmm. Coronado Springs, and it was wonderful and updated. The last time we went there was 2011 for our honeymoon. Right. And so the additions to Coronado were fantastic. Yes. That tower, was it Grand Grand Testino? Destino. Destino Tower was unreal. We pulled up and it was beautiful. We could do a whole episode on Coronado Springs. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right. So so we really could. We will. (laughs) All right. So, so, but when we got there Monday, we didn't have a lot to do. Like we, we stayed and we were well rested. We, mm-hmm. I, we slept great. We woke up. We were like, let's go resort hopping. Right. And so then, yeah, we bounced around to just about every resort in, in Disney. Yes. And it was wonderful. And right. we were more exhausted Monday night <laughs> right. than what we were our, when we go to the park. So we check in um, and we get in our room. And we ch- we love the room. We love walking in to seeing Welcome Watts family oh, on the TV. And then they had this little scene on the TV, the little <laughs> yes. ducks and the... Oh, oh I wonderful. love it. Everything Disney does. Oh. Um, but Coronado Springs nailed it. They had our Mickey-shaped towels on the bed. And, you know, it, it just is what you... That breath. That everything you, you want. Yeah, everything you want when you go <gasps> and spend the type of money. We are very frugal. We, you know, we, when we get to stay at Coronado Springs, it is a blessing. We are pop century value resort all day, but this was a special occasion. It was our anniversary. We got a good deal. I don't have no clue how, but we got a little discount. I don't, I guess we just booked it at the right time. Mm -hmm, We did. So, and, and we will talk about that on other episodes, just how to go on Disney with a dime. We, we've done it before. We've done it for less than a thousand dollars. So we could have a whole nother discussion on that. But in this case, we checked in, we dropped our bags off, um, and we kind of got to know the new Coronado Springs. And so we walked around, we were amazed. We, 
Grandestino, amazing. The new um, sort of facilities, the way that they changed a little bit of the facades on some of the existing buildings, the pool, everything they added there. Um, just bravo. You know, oh, it, well, it, yeah. it, it is so a well done. It was nice before, but now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. at the top. Like it you, is. you'll want to stay there. You want to stay there. So Coronado Springs by far, I think is still going to be one of our tops. Um, we could rank the resorts uh, if we wanted to, but we're definitely going to be Coronado Springs people. And uh, just to know, so when we resort hop, mm-hmm. um, it we, we have like criteria that we kind of take notes on. Mm-hmm. So it's like, so being that we're too adults without children we we always look at the vibe of the resort yes so like like we we immediately know when we always head for the lobby the main lobby right the the hub of the resort Mm -hmm. and and when we go in there you instantly know like is this a family resort or is this like a business type resort or is this for like the honeymooners or so it's it's like and and our preference is very chill yeah you know so um coronado super chill yeah. like it you walk in and it is just like it's us i mean i'm not the theme is okay yeah like it's not my but who cares like mm-hmm. you know in the end but like as far as the vibe the crowd at yes. that resort it is it is for two Unmatched. two adults they don't have kids mm-hmm. absolutely 120 percent recommend coronado right yeah so tell tell our our listeners how to hop so just kind of explain like, for example, how do you even start? Okay. Well, you have to put in a little bit of work. Okay. It's not that easy. And you really, really, when you go to Disney, go for a couple of years and just enjoy the parks, enjoy Disney Springs and, and then resort hop because like it, it's a little bit of work. All right. So what then this is pre Skyline Skyliner mm-hmm. Skyliner, which we talk about later, helps out a whole lot. Oh, okay. Yes. So our original because when we got there this year. Um, so you wake up and you have to go to a park. Yeah. Okay. At least this is the way we do it. Mm-hmm. If somebody else knows a better way, please let us know. Mm-hmm. All right. So you take the bus to any park, basically. Okay. So like we would always pick Hollywood Studios because Hollywood Studios was super close to Coronado. So the bus ride was really short. Mm-hmm. So we would go to Coronado to Hollywood. Then from hot, we get right off the bus stop. Don't go to the front gate of Hollywood. Just turn at the bus sign and pick a resort. Yeah. <laughs> so you pick a resort you want to go to. So then we would turn and just go down the bus line and pick a resort. And then we would ride that that bus to the resort and then keep rinse and repeat, basically. Right. Like, you know, um, and, and you just and, and the good thing about this is one you really get to see the food offerings mm-hmm. because each one is slightly different. Yes. And an uh, interesting tidbit is that we noticed some resorts are somehow cheaper than others. Yes. We did not know that before. And if if we're wrong, feel free to correct us. But I swear we paid seven ninety nine for the Mickey Ears waffles <laughs> at Coronado. Yeah. And over at Caribbean, they were paying six something. That's you know? right. So, That's right. But um Resort hopping, so I think one of the first ones we went to was that we had not been to was Port Port Orleans. Mm-hmm. Port Orleans. Mm-hmm. Um, that was one that has been on our list for quite a while to visit because of the style. Yes. You know, that, that was really our style. So, all right. So, when we went there, what did you think of that resort? And I think we got off of the French Quarter. We did. Yeah. Because we were, just fake it till you make it. That's sort of what we thought. We thought... And we're gonna act like we stay here, you know. Like yeah. we nobody, and nobody really cares. And nobody it's just cares. us. Like we're to ourselves, we're like we don't want to see like yeah, yeah. And I guarantee you, ninety five percent of the people walking by us were doing the same thing we were doing. But in our head, we were spies. <laughs> oh yeah, we were like James <laughs> Bond walking through the halls, like, undercover. Duh, duh, they're gonna catch us. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. So we get to the first bus stop, and I look at him. He looks at me, and it's sort of this yeah, Let's let's get off here. And it was French Quarter. Wow. Loved it. Yeah, it's pretty small. Yep. So the first impression was, oh, this is boutique. This is cute. I love this. Um, because we had just seen the Grand Destino, and it was like, whoa. I mean, convention size resort. When you get off at the French Quarter stop, it is so 
beautiful. Um, you can actually smell beignets. Like it, they make it so that you truly feel like you are transported to the French Quarter in New Orleans. And it was magic. I love the streets too. Like that's, yes. I know it sounds weird, but like um, we, where we live is a historic town. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of sidewalks yes. and streets, street lamps. And we, we have always gravitated to that, like little mm -hmm. downtowns. And so this resort in particular really offered that. Like yes. the roads are cute brick. They have street lamps. It makes you feel like when you are walking from your hotel room to the resort lobby or to the food courts, you're walking down streets of Paris. Yes. Um, I love the sort of horse and ring like, um, you know, posts that they have where you would almost feel like I'm going to just park my chariot or my little horse here. I mean, it really felt like we're walking down streets. Um, Coronado has large, wide walkways. And, um, and, and um, very southwestern. Yes. Um, rocks. Landscaping. And, yes. And, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's rocky cactus, you know, yes. very, very, very desert like. Uh huh. This is more lush. It's more green. Um, if you, it's us, it, it's us. It's yeah. our style because, like I said, we live in a historic mm -hmm. part of, of cobblestone. Yeah, is fantastic. Fountains, and I'm, each building was a little different. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, so when we walk into the French Quarter, we notice like yeah, the streets are cute. The yeah, side the street lights, and then we like the the street the the buildings are different. Well, then we keep going, and then we notice oh wow. This is a huge resort. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's we not found just ourselves, the French Quarter. Yeah, we found ourselves on the way to the walkway for Riverside to get over to Port Orleans. And that's when sort of our breath was taken because we went, yeah, this is... Oh, it's gorgeous. This is where we want to stay. Absolutely gorgeous. Like the waterway, the everything about it was just... And, and, and again, we would never have done that if booking a vacation... Um, listing the hotels, it would have never caught my eye, really. Um, I know we've heard one or two people recommend it to us, but we also were like, well, we have ours that we've gone to. And so the only way that we would have ever seen this is taking a day mm -hmm. and just going to different resorts. And it was beautiful. So, I mean, and then, and then you get to the, um, to the, uh, to the uh, lobby mm -hmm. area, to the yep. big building. And that's the cafeteria is wide open, very mm -hmm. nice. It's got that uh, the wheel in yes, the water, the old mill. It almost yeah. looks like. Um, I loved what we really do, guys. We walk through, we go in, we actually will get in line, and we will look at the menus. We will compare what food items and selections they have versus what Coronado has. Coronado, you always have your your standard. You've got pizza, you've got your burgers, you've nachos. got chicken. But then Coronado brings mm -hmm. in your nachos or like a Southwest omelet. Um, so there's always something special on their menus. And we're always like, ooh, wonder what this one has. So with French Quarter, they had sort of that brioche bread, um, you know, very French inspired. Um, you could get beignets, you could get sort of the things that you would expect. And then when we went into the food court uh, at at Port Orleans, we found the dining room to be a lot more open. Obviously, it's a bigger resort than the French Quarter side, but you you didn't feel like you were swallowed up like Pop Century. It felt like we're still... It's still that vibe. Yeah. It's still the Coronado vibe. Right. Where it was very relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't... I don't want to say it was, was not kid-friendly because all of them have pools and they have activities and they have a ton of stuff going on. But it's just... I, I think it's the pulse yeah. of the result of mm -hmm. the resort. Mm -hmm. um, that one had one that was like Coronado. Yeah. And one of the... Uh, and let's not forget... One of the most important things that we look at is the gift shop. Yeah. How awesome. We love a gift shop. How awesome is the gift shop in the resort? Coronado is good. It's a, it's It doesn't have a ton of stuff and it's very classy, which is great, which is, you know, but for us, we are the type that I want to be hit in the face <laughs> with everything Disney. Yes. So just Disney, 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 and I want it themed. We, are, we, we, we always get a pin from mm -hmm. the resort we stay at mm -hmm. and we try to get a shirt whatever like we really like to wherever we're staying we're, that's that's our team we take a memento we take a souvenir and that's just us and with the with 
the Port Orleans Riverside was that general store vibe, which Woody loved I right loved away. I loved the theme of, of Port Orleans. You loved it. I loved it. And so. it had sort of that whole candy section that obviously Coronado didn't have, but where it almost felt like, you know, the that beautiful mini sweets and treats, you know, the confectionery place. Um, it felt like that. It felt like a little mini tiny, you know, and you could have the bags and you could fill up Jelly Belly like that was there. Um, and a lot of the kids were taking advantage of that. But again, it just felt like the pulse that we love, which is slower, which is a little more quieter. Um, and it just didn't seem as busy. It just didn't yeah. seem like the hustle and bustle was just all around us. It just felt like, wow, this is vacation. And you can take a boat from Port Orleans Riverside over to Disney Springs. They have like a, um, they have like a, a, a little shuttle. They have like a shuttle that you can take from there. It's, that was a cool addition. And we had like, we had never noticed that before. Like right. we, you know, we're so used to the buses and then we get there and it's like, Oh wow. You could take a little, like a little friendship boat or whatever they call it. I can't remember <laughs> yeah. what they call it. Over to Disney Springs and um, where else? You could take it there. I think there was other places, but yeah, it was an amazing resort. So, yes. but then from there, we actually took the boat to, um, we took it, where did we take it to? Epcot. Mm -hmm. We took it to, we took it to Epcot. Um, yes, we went to Epcot and then that is when we encountered the Skyliner for the first time. Um, we got off the boat. And you were right there to either go into the park or you could go and get on the Skyliner. So we got on the Skyliner for the first time, which was super exciting. And we took the Skyliner to the transfer. At Caribbean Beach. Yes. Yes. So we got off at Caribbean Beach and looked at that resort. Yes. Because that was on the way. That, uh -huh. that was, you know, that was one of the stops. And that, okay, so that had a much more family vibe to yeah. it like yeah. you instantly get off and you hear just a ton <laughs> of kids mm -hmm. and a ton of families and you can tell that every just about every person in that lobby is worth like five other people they've got grandma and grandpa they've got the little kids and it was a beautiful resort mm -hmm. i mean beautiful but the much more much more family oriented i think yeah unless we called them at different times but yeah and we walked caribbean beach we walked that you have to resort. walk a lot like when you get off the skyliner i don't know where the bus is let off because we ended up taking skyliner but that like that that's a hike from yeah. that to the lobby which is i say lobby that's just the main hub right. of every resort uh with the cafeteria the gift shop all that stuff now the gift shop was nice yes there that was very themed and a little bit bigger mm -hmm. um but yeah caribbean i i didn't like it as much right i didn't dislike it i just it wasn't my thing right. like the pool was cool because it had like a a pirate's theme to yes. it uh but everything else it's very beachy which is which is good if you're going to florida for vacation with the family and you want the resort for a couple of days and maybe go to the park a couple of days like it's wonderful for that but for us it was just a lot going on it was a lot it, it, just a lot mm -hmm. so we we went there and then we ended up taking the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios after that. And then again, Hollywood Studios just seemed to be the default hopper hub yeah. for us. And then we ended up going to, uh, we found our way to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh. And yeah. Fort Wilderness. And Fort Wilderness. Let's, let's just do, talk let, a right, second. Let's do, let's do Animal Kingdom Lodge okay. first. Man, that, wow. that, that place is. Whew. We ended up staying for dinner. Yeah. Which was great. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got off of the bus and we walked up the path and immediately you could just sort of see, okay, there's a lot here. Um, we had to kind of ride the bus a few stops before it got to the Jambo house. And when we got out at the Jambo house, we said, oh man. It was like, unlike any resort that we had scene really it like it was, it was a great forming hall yes now listen when you pull up to animal kingdom lodge you're looking at it and you see a wall like mm -hmm. you see these walls and you're like what in the world like okay like you know if you don't know about it like it's like okay what is this yeah and then you walk in oh and goodness. do you see why the walls are there with the rooms it's because the animal kingdom is budding right up to the oh my to goodness. the lodge and the animals Giraffes. are coming up to the windows giraffes zebras 
um, some sort of deer. They had, they were roasting s'mores out in the sort of, I guess, I don't even know, you wouldn't call it pool area, but it was more like a a hardscaping yeah. out. It in, was like you were in part of Animal Kingdom, uh, honestly. Yeah. And but you had a fence that you walked up to. It wasn't like glass. It was like just a, a fence that you could, you know, actually see the animals through. And it was wonderful. It was like like I know that's a different price level. Oh, obviously, yeah. that is a deluxe. Sure. Deluxe. Um, but that I mean, you walk in and there was a guy carving a statue over mm-hmm. in the corner. Gift shop was wonderful. Oh yeah. Very themed. Yeah. I mean, the whole resort was just very well themed. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you instantly knew like you were in like Africa. Yeah. You know, and if you're a fan of Lion King, it, absolutely you got to stay there. I mean, it's wonderful. But it was just huge. It was huge. And, and then you walk out, you see the animals. Mm-hmm. And then we, we went down and looked at the two, there's two or three restaurants. It was probably more than that, but there was a big buffet restaurant mm-hmm. that was like, what, $30 per person? Yeah, $29. Yep, and then there was an- another a table place to eat, yeah. and then we found the cafeteria, mm-hmm. which was almost empty. It was like almost it was like empty. it was like four people in there. You could definitely tell that the cafeteria was not a big of priority no. at this resort. Um, the quick service dining type thing. It was it, smaller than Coronado. It was definitely smaller than Coronado's Mar- Mercado, and it was absolutely charming. It mm-hmm. felt like. Yeah, it wasn't such a, a priority for that resort because obviously families that are staying there probably are going to go to the table dinings or they're out and out and about at the parks dining, you know, at different places, maybe even Epcot, wherever. But we sat down, we ordered, I think I got the chicken nuggets. Fantastic. You got... We got the least themed <laughs> yeah. food that you could get. Yeah. I got the chicken parmesan sa- uh, sandwich yeah. or something. and it was So just, good though. It wasn't at all wilderness themed, but... It was, it was just, it was great. It, it was, was quiet. It wasn't, you know, but it was a definitely a family resort because, mm-hmm. you know, there was, a, there was, there was kids there, but it was just, it had a very chill, mm-hmm. you know, vibe to it. But as far as like the theming and just the size of it and the fact that animals are right there was absolutely wonderful. You can't beat it. And it was, it was just precious for us because that was our anniversary. So that was the night and we got a mini cupcake, which was delicious so the bakery options there were so different than coronado so every resort has something special and i think that's why hopping is so fun for us because you get to experience that so after animal kingdom we decided to take a little trip over to fort wilderness Mm. this by far woody was my favorite yeah i could tell when you walked in (laughs) i just thought oh for one my My family and my dad still lives in a log cabin. So log cabins have a little special place in my heart. Grew up in one and all of it's crazy. Um, You know, there's a a sense of log cabin-esque in my bones. So when I walked up to the first door and were wonderfully greeted by some sort of manager or cast member, um, you know, it was like we were in another world. I really felt like this is so beautiful. And just walking into that lobby area, you saw an arcade, you saw, um, you know, the gift shop, which was great. I think, uh, it was probably, it's probably my favorite yes. gift shop. The style of merchandise in there mm. was, at, it's like if you. Campy. Campy. Yeah. yeah. If, and, and very subtle too. Like, like the shirt, that I bought there was it was just subtle. Yeah. And that's a great word for it. And it was it was yeah, by far head and shoulders my favorite gift shop mm-hmm. of all the resorts. And when you buy a t shirt at Disney in 2019, you're gonna pay thirty four dollars and ninety nine cents. And for my husband to buy a t shirt <laughs> I gotta love it. Like I I mean I, let me tell you this is sidetracking, but <laughs> before we left I wanted some. I wanted to wear a Disney shirt every day. Yeah, you're but so cute. being the cheapskate I am, like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay that. So my lovely wife, uh, she went on eBay, and you stocked me up. I did. Like, like I like you were paying two or three bucks for I'm shirts, you, right? Disney on a dime. Disney on a dime. And so like I I went with a brand new shirt. Well, it wasn't brand new. I mean pre-owned pre-owned shirt every day. 
and rocked a new shirt yep. every day. And then so I go to Fort Wilderness and I, I just, I instantly see this shirt. And I'm like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. I love that shirt. Mm-hmm. And, I lo- and we got a coaster too with Smokey the Bear on yeah, it. I, mean, I, I just love the vibe. I absolutely love the style yes. of that place. The and fireplace, it, it, the oh, rocking chairs, oh. everything. And I think him and I both thought Christmas. Oh, we want to come back there. for Christmas. We did take a look at the dining Again, small. Looked, looked great, though. I mean, yep. we didn't eat there because the timing wasn't right. And it's another deluxe resort. It's another one of those luxury ones those that more expensive ones, when yeah. we price a Disney vacation, we can't even select it. And we don't, we don't, we don't even look at those. But <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This is the first time. Like, I loved Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm. But, like, Fort Wilderness was the first time where maybe we might save a little longer right. to stay there. Now, when we say... The, the differences really are not in the rooms themselves. Right. Because we've seen just about every room mm-hmm. in the resorts, but not every room in each resort, just the style room. Yes. But they all honestly are the same. Mm-hmm. They really are. Like like they're, they're down to the size, which doesn't matter because you're not in there a ton. No. Nope. Um, they, they, they're all themed subtly. They're not, they're not like crazy themed, you know, and this is every resort. Uh, the only difference that we really look for are the bed sizes. Yeah. Like we prefer a queen mm-hmm. or, or absolutely a king. Yeah. But uh, most of the value resorts have two double beds mm-hmm. and we just we just prefer a queen. And the mattresses aren't as good. It's like as uh, you yeah, move up. It seems up... like they're different, a mm-hmm. little different. Yeah. But I mean, so we really don't look at the rooms. No. The rooms don't matter. Right. Uh, th- it's, it's like when you walk in, what is the feeling... That you want to go back to the resort. That that would make you leave the park and Mm. not be depressed. Yes. Or to make you sleep in and eat at the resort rather than running to Gaston's Tavern to get a cinnamon bun. And this was was one of those resorts. It was. That you walk in and you're like, yeah, I'd come back. Yeah, I'd come back for lunch. (laughs) I'd come back. For mm-hmm. dinner, and I would hang out. Yeah, because the the and it, the lobby is very much like Animal Kingdom Lodge, huge, yeah. tall, but very cabin feel. Uh huh. And then you're looking out to the woods, and you you have like a platform, rock platform with rocking chairs, and it was beautiful. And there was that water feature that you could walk across the bridge. Remember, it was oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. It felt like okay, really, this is perfect, Disney. Are you kidding? So for us. Fort Wilderness is a save two years and maybe go. Yeah, type save up resort. a little bit more. Yeah. So then we decided um, to, and, and we do. We walk around. We we take an elevator up and down. We we really kind of get a feel for what it would be like if we were staying there. And that was one of those ones where it didn't take us five minutes to know that this would be something we would want to do. Yeah. So let's talk about Polynesian a little bit. We did visit Polynesian. This is the second time we've we've hopped. Um, we did a lot of pin trading earlier in our vacation. So like in 2011, 20, 2012, 2013, we, we really were into pin trading. Now we sort of get pins for to remember, or mm-hmm. if there's a really cool Star Wars one that he likes or, you know, a princess one that I like, it just felt like, wow, you know, we, we were so concentrated on other things. Now it's really about what is the vacation going to look like for us. So when we visited Polynesian, the first time we were blown away. We thought, yeah. "Oh my gosh!" But again, the pulse is high at Polynesian. Yeah, All you families. with the monorail and that sort of access, um, which security has heightened. Yes, they have metal detectors uh-huh. and they check your bag, which I don't remember them doing that before. They didn't. They I didn't. I don't that. even remember there being gates no. like set up or those sort of like to lead. You know parties to the left or to the right yeah. um that is new all of that is new um but access to monorail access to magic kingdom you can't go wrong i mean you know it is as far as being at the contemporary um that's the only other one besides floridian and the view is beautiful view is beautiful i mean polynesian is definitely i would have to say you would have to be a polynesian like die hard i think i i think um, for me, it's it's just not my favorite thing. Mm-hmm. It's 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 nice. It's got a beautiful view, and we even sat on the beach by ourselves and ate a Dole Whip. We sure did. And you know, I so it was a great experience. We sat I mean, for like thirty minutes 
like no one was there on the white sand where they have the alligator signs up now and you know all that stuff but it was i mean it's it's a beautiful obviously a beautiful resort Mm -hmm. it's just i think this the theme does not resonate with me it doesn't give you the chills i guess chills when you walked into Fort Wilderness chills when we walked into Animal Kingdom. So this Polynesian was this this time we hopped. We just obviously we go to the gift shop. We go to see what's new. We love Polynesian's food options. We've eaten their quick service and we have checked out obviously the Dole Whip selection. This time yeah, you got you can get Dole Whip there, which is nice. You got lime because which you, they didn't offer in the park. No, and so you go to the park, you end up waiting. 45 minutes for Dole Whip. We'll just shoot on over to Poly- the right. Polynesian Resort. And if nothing else, hop for Dole Whip. Hop for Dole Whip. But it's just not my favorite theme. Yeah. I, it's a beautiful resort, and it's one of the more expensive ones, so it's clearly, you mm-hmm. know, people like it. But for me, it's just not my It's not my favorite. Right. It's just overly themed, and I just did, the theme was not me. Mm-hmm. And the gift shop was, was it's a little small. You know, I, I don't know if it's, you know, it's had a lot of... Uh, Moana. Mm-hmm. It had a lot, which is which is really nice. Yeah. I think that's nice. But um, yeah, I don't know. It just was. It's not my favorite. Yeah, it's not my favorite. So then we monorail over to Floridian. Yeah. Here's my take on Floridian. I appreciate it. It's beautiful. It's a classic. You know, you 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 gotta you gotta see it to believe it type thing. You walk in and it definitely feels like I'm at a place. I feel like immediately my t-shirt and jeans yeah. need to be switched out. I need my collar on, my, my collar spheres, shirt. Yeah. My, my pastel shorts. <laughs> no offense. So we go into Basin, which I always like to check out what they have. Um, you know, and, and so many people are so friendly. We did look into the the enchanted um, tea room that's new. That was pretty. Over there, really that pretty. Was nice. It was well done. It was well done. A lot of people are hating on it because what does, you know, Florida um, sort of Victorian uh, architecture have to do with Belle and well, the Beast? You but. know, <laughs> I, think, I think for that, I just think that they're, they're picking uh, characters and settings yeah. that are just princess popular and that they can kind of theme and that people recognize i know for me like it's wonderful when you walk by like the enchanted you know oh that's sweet Mm -hmm. instead of calling it you know right the the floridian tea house you know it's so it's like yeah i don't care slap a character on it you get more money for me and i did see when we were there a princess tea party oh that was pretty it was so cute they offered that um when around the time that we were there, we, we kind of also check out the activity boards because Coronado had paint your own um, Dia de los Muertos ornament. Yeah, that was really that was sweet. Adorable. Yeah. Um, they had like a sugar skull painting thing. It was really sweet. Um, Fort Wilderness was offering like a glow and swim sort of pool party with yeah. glow sticks. And then of course the Floridian has, sort of the, the enchanted tea party and the princess tea party. Yes. And so I think you you can't go wrong, like you said, with putting any sort of um, princess or tea related. And that is Belle, right? You know, that's that's Belle and the Beast. So I love I love that addition. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. It was beautiful. I love the dark colors. I love the, the gold um, sort of chandeliers in there. And it was packed. I mean, there's a I, I lot of people it, in there. I think it... In- integrated well it didn't throw me off right i like it didn't like so we leave floridian and then we are at magic kingdom so we get off at magic kingdom and then what was next because it's right like i mean you we took the monorail Mm -hmm. back over okay so for old time's sakes uh we we visit so we went to pop our first or after coronado our honeymoon like we would go to, we stayed at Pop like two or three times. Mm-hmm. You know, so Pop has this, you know, if we need a quick Disney fix <laughs> yeah. and we, we need it at a true value. Yeah. You know, we always go for the value resorts. And, and it, listen, we've stayed there a number of times, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's just, these are extremely kid friendly. Yeah. Like, and that is wonderful if you have kids and honestly you spend an all day at the park and you just want somewhere to come back and sleep just to crash like these places are wonderful but after um not to knock it after staying in the new coronado 
and then you know getting that feel and that you know that vibe to go over to pop and art of animation it can be a it can be a lot for people that don't you know we don't have kids going to disney you know so you know but it's so they're so family friendly that i recognize that this is a great place to bring your family because the big shop the the gift shops are huge yes cafeteria is huge 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 always always like bustling and everything else and then you can walk over to art of animation Mm -hmm. they have a a ton of pools and there's always stuff going on at the pools i think they had a movie night at art of animation Animation. (laughs) yes they had a movie night by the pool which was which was on a projector it was great the kids were they offered um floats i remember they were giving sort of the those little tubes that you could sit in yeah yeah it It was was great it it was great it was like it was towards the night yeah. For this. And it's just for those for those resorts, they they just have a lot going on. Mm-hmm. And for us, we just I don't know, like at Coronado, we would walk from our room, which is across the pond. And if you've been there, you kind of know like the tower is here and then the restaurant in the middle of the pond and there's like these bridges. Right. We were in like the the ranchos. The ranchos, yeah. Ranchos across the thing. I mean, there were times we would walk across the bridge and there'd be no one else. No one. On the bridge. And mm-hmm. that's, and you know, it's selfish of me. But that's, I like it. I yeah. like it like that, oh, you know? Yeah. But, but like, you definitely go to Pop of, or Art of Animation, and it is much more family oriented. I mean, fam and family friendly. And it's just a lot more. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot more people, a lot more going on. And uh, they're still nice. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're nice, but, you know, it was, it was nice to go back to Coronado uh, after. After seeing, you know, there's the other resorts. Yes. But um, now one that we went by, lastly, one that we went by, but we did not stop because I don't know if it's open yet, was the Riviera. Mm. And that one, like if you take a Skyliner, you, you go through that station. Yeah. You don't get off. Because, I, I, again, I don't think it opens till December, maybe. It doesn't. Yeah, okay. December 16th, I think. Maybe, yeah. And so you, you can take... You go through it. You go yeah. through that station, and you can see it. That is going to be an absolutely stunning resort. Ugh. Like that, it looks beautiful. I oh love the style. I love everything about it. Uh, I wish it was in my price. I know in our price range, but that is going to be that one. I love now the me that my legs are exhausted after a week. I love the ones that are kind of close now. Uh huh. You know they're in the same compact. Building. Yeah, they're in the same building. <laughs> Uh, instead of like uh, walking, <laughs> God, it felt like we walked so many miles to get refills of our cups. Oh yeah, but, you know. But uh, yeah, so Riviera, I man, that that looks beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely want to dream about staying there, and we'll hop, we'll hop when we go back. Um, yeah, when it opens, if we can get in, if they don't block it for only <laughs> vacation holders, uh. We'll sneak in. And- Woody's so scared that they're going to scan our magic bands and be like, oh, well, we see your Coronado Springs or we see you're staying at the Pop Century. Would you like to take this bus back to your own resort? <laughs> well, they do have like at, uh, I believe it was Animal Kingdom Lodge. There's a club level. Up, oh, yeah. Up at the top where you had to put your magic band. Definitely. And we didn't qualify. We sure didn't. <laughs> so I just don't want, I hope that Disney recognizes that this is what, makes people want to stay at other resorts Mm. and this because that is the sole reason that we book at different resorts Mm -hmm. because we test them out because there was a vacation offer for the caribbean yeah that was actually cheaper Mm -hmm. and we said oh hold on because it was a bounce back offer because if you stay at disney and if you book while you're at disney they offer a pretty substantial discount sometimes yeah and so the bounce back offer was for a certain period of time and she recommended caribbean or caribbean and then so we were like, all right, well, let us check it out first before we before we book it. And then we went over there and and honestly it was like, ah, no, we we're gonna stay at Port Orleans or Riverside because it was just too much going on for us. So uh, I just hope Disney recognizes that and then like just doesn't do anything to Rash. slow it down. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember the first year we went and we, I think we went over to the Grand Floridian for one, re- like it was to pin trade or something. We weren't resort hopping or something. Well, it- remember we <coughs> heard about the gingerbread house. 
Yes, that's why we went over mm-hmm. there. So back in 2011, we went over to look at the gingerbread house, or 2012, yes. 13, whatever. And and then at the at that time, you could go up and you could actually swim in the pools mm-hmm. of the different resorts. Yeah. And so we went and we were like, oh wow, well, like you could, we could stay at Pop, and come over and swim in the that's Polynesian right. or yeah. whatever resort. And then all of a sudden, like I think the next year we went, sure enough. They had put the gates up and the magic bands and yes. that you had to, you know. So, I mean, I I, I, I get that. Mm-hmm. I, do, I do not at all blame them for that. I think that's a, actually a smart move. Yeah. But the other part is, please don't. Don't yeah. limit. Don't make us, us Don't make us have to scan in let to, our, let to look at the lobby. Let us little moderate value people visit the deluxe ones every so often. We promise we, we won't take no. up much of your time. No. <laughs> we just walk around and look up in awe and... Big eyes, hoping yeah. to stay there one day. So don't ruin that. Let us dream. Yeah, yeah. but it I, that it was like from this last trip, it was probably my favorite thing mm-hmm. that we did, and and that was just hopping around. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. We spent a whole day doing it, and looking back, it was like, man, that was. I had more fun doing that. It was a really fun day than I did. You know, I obviously love the parks, but if you've gone some, if you've gone a ton of times, and there's not too many rides open then you know you're looking for stuff to do and this was active it made us book i remember going to port and being like man i love that yeah and then we got on the bus and i literally booked our next year's vacation there yeah. because of that so definitely definitely recommend if you're going to take a trip over and you only have you know oh gosh you know we've only got enough to get three park tickets and a park hopper but you want to go for more days Make time, make time in your trip or in your, you know, stay to, to, to reserve a couple days, one, to enjoy your own resort. We did actually this time bring our bathing suits the first time in the many years we visited Disney, knowing that maybe we will spend some time swimming. And at Coronado Springs, there's a 24 hour pool, which was different than Pop Century because I know that closed at like 10 or 11. And the, and the main one at Coronado closes. Right. This one's like a smaller one heading back in the, in oh my the six and the number six and seven area yes. that we stayed. And we were the only yeah, two we were people. And it was wonderful. It was so we great. had this big pool and it was awesome. It was. And um, what I, I, I really loved, I think, most about that this time that was different than, than other times is that we purposely had time to say, hey, look, let's go take a nap. And we hadn't done that before. We'd been more afraid we were going to miss something. Um, but this time we we napped, we slept in a little bit. So this was truly the best, I would say, the best vacation we've taken. Vacation, vacation. Yes. Like, like t- actually taking a breather. Yeah. And taking it in. Because before it was a marathon mm. for every resort and staying absolutely till it closes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and then coming back, excuse me, coming back and then just being exhausted. We actually took a day, yeah. take a day and just kind of hop around. You know, if there's a resort you want to look at, it's, it's just fun. Go to the gift shop, get like it. It's, it, they have little differences that are worth, you know, like I know the, the, I know I keep saying portal, portal and the Riverside, but they actually had like purchasing the frog merchandise there they did. that they didn't have at the other ones. And it was or just like, even in the park. Yeah. Even in the yeah, park. So was, yeah, check it out. It was resort specific. I loved it. So that will do it. We will wrap up this episode of Woody's Roundup. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you on the next episode.